Hi everyone. <clears throat> if you live in my area, happy monsoon season. Can hear all the wind blowing, my trees. It's fantastic. So happy. And I'm already aware I need to start a blooper reel. <laughs> so many videos I have to start and restart. <clears throat> As you guys know, my goal is to do at least two videos a day. Um, I'm here. We're doing it. I had said I needed to do a video about dog attacks in Ohio, so we're going to go ahead and cover that. I will quickly go over the rules, then the rules of Ohio and the regulations on what you can do to protect yourself. And then I'm going to jump into a story that I touched briefly on in another video, but feel like it needs a lot more attention. I'm also trying some different lighting. I'm taking the window out and trying with this. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it yet, but what the hell does it matter? That's not the important part. And then after that story, I will share a couple of my experiences from Ohio myself. And I have lived all over the country, so it's almost like I can tell a story about a dog attack from almost every state. Um, my son has grown more and more curious about what I'm doing up here, so he keeps popping into all my videos. You will see me awkwardly looking off and trying to politely usher him away. I don't want him in my videos, obviously. Obvious reasons. Dog nuts are freaking crazy. So, welcome, and from the bottom of my dog-loving heart, I am so happy to have you here. So, let's get right into it. Dog attacks in Ohio, laws and rules in the state, okay? There are a lot of different sections for this law, but this one specifically, section 95528. A dog may be killed for certain acts, and the owner will be liable for damage. Arizona and Ohio kind of share a few similarities when it comes to dog attack laws. So, you know, consider myself kind of lucky. Um, a dog that is chasing or approaching, and, and I've, I've shorthanded this, so let me start over. A dog that is chasing or approaching in a menacing fashion or a parent attack attempting to bite or otherwise endanger that kills or injures a person or a dog or chasing or a big thing that's a big thing also in Texas, threatening to kill livestock, poultry, cats, other animals. The person that kills said dog is not liable for prosecution. So in the state of Ohio, and actually a couple other pages have talked about this, if a dog is approaching you in a menacing manner, threatening your life or attacking your pet, you are allowed to kill said dog. And not that it always counts because they'd like to find a way to make you guilty, whether you like it or not, but here we are. Um, this does not apply to, say, like, a dog has attacked you, and then that following day or night, right, you're like, I'm going over there and I'm going to fuck that dog up. You can't do that. It has to be right in the moment. I'm going to reach over and grab my coffee. Apologies. <laughs> Something I definitely should have already thought about. So you can't, you can't go back and seek vengeance, if you will. It has to be done when the situation's taking place, okay? And then the owner is liability is liable for any injuries, loss, or death, okay? So let's visit, and there's obviously a lot more to these laws, but I'm just covering brief. I want to keep it paraphrased and, once again, easy to digest. If you get too lengthy or try to give people too much legal jargon, they get confused. There's a reason why there are lawyers out there doing this stuff and, and people don't represent themselves. Moving on. I want to talk about this crazy, crazy lady, Amanda, I want to say it's Ramos or Ramos, I'm not sure, in Cleveland, whom's dogs had gotten in trouble, I believe it was, um, had bit two people in two weeks. Yeah, dogs had attacked twice in two weeks. And uh, I'm going to pull out my computer and I made some footnotes because this one is just uh, pretty wild, honestly. Um, crazy freaking woman. And I read this and I even was sharing this story. Oh no, don't freeze up computer. It's okay. I already have every, oh, there it goes. I read everything down just in case monsoon season hits around here and service gets kind of shoddy. <clears throat> this crazy woman's dogs have been escaping over and over again. 
And I can't wait to talk about this story as I was talking to a friend of mine about it last night and I was getting a huge kick out of how dumb this woman is. Uh, she's no proper grammar, no common sense. Uh, she's just basically human garbage, okay? And then jumps all over the victim afterwards because she's a fucking dog nut and can't even say, I'm sorry. Oops, my critters caused all these problems. Damn, I should have... Just like that Alejandro son of a bitch, I don't have any sympathy for these people. Okay, June 7th, okay, 2021, relatively recent case. The victim is Marge Bowden, one of the victims, because even a cop was bit. A police officer showed up to issue a citation. He was dropping off paperwork um, about the first time the dogs had gotten out and were at large, and one of the damn dogs bit him, you know? Okay. The city had allowed the dogs to go home after two vicious dog attacks, and their excuse was that they don't have any room. You know, they don't have room in the shelter for these dogs. I know somewhere you can take them. Landfill, shooting range, meat packing facility, target practice, hot dog factory. I've got ideas. So. <sighs> this woman in her language is so terrible. She freaks out in court, okay? Because I feel like you guys are railroading me. You just want my dogs put to sleep. Yes, yes, we all want your attacking dogs to be put to sleep. The victim, Marge Bowden, is in the courtroom, obviously, including the officer that the dog bit, okay? All right. She says, I have done everything you have complied. That's not how that sentence works. That is not the proper use of that word. Not that I expect this human to have any intelligence. I just found a lot of humor in it, and I have to point it out. This woman's very stupid. She turns around and starts mocking the victim, because after she's up on the um, podium and she's going, you guys are railroading me. I've done everything you've complied. That's, that's not how that word works, but whatever. I got to get over it. It's just me with my grammar. She goes marching out of the courtroom without being excused, and then the victim's sitting there, and I she utters under her breath something like, um, this needs to be stopped, or like, you know, something of that manner. And she flips around and starts yelling, you're a hypochondriac, and there's a video of this. You guys can look up, I actually found it in Cleveland 19 News, there's a video of it. You're a hypochondriac. Once again, hypochondriac is not the word for that. If <laughs> God, this woman. If, if you're trying to accuse the victim of being dramatic, there's one word you could use. There's a lot of words, but hypochondriac doesn't... I just... This woman. She's... Oh, you were acting like you were bleeding to death. Well, if you look at the pictures of this woman's wounds, um, they're pretty serious and up and down her leg. And anytime, you know, you're in this leg area getting bit, I mean, you know, there are a lot of there's a lot of blood flowing through your legs, and I really personally think the only thing that stopped this woman from actually really taking on severe harm is that she was, you know, had a little bit of flat. She's getting older, so she's got some looser skin. That can help, you know, to prevent e even critters on the planet have developed, you know, more scruff, and they'll even breed that into certain dogs so they're not as easy to kill. That ain't stopping me. So this woman is spazzing out in court and acting a fool yelling at the victim the uh officer also said like you know it's a dog that they don't need to live okay three victims on may 13th alone including a cop all right <sighs> video of her in court there okay there were initially five dogs involved in this okay and she after this incident has rehomed two of them one of them were her sister's dogs okay honey shh no one of them was a sister's dog um i don't give a shit whose dog it is it's out there killing people all right like this lady um one second William. I'm sorry, I said this was gonna keep happening. 
Uh, but I have to edit this video or or check the editing. I can't edit. I'm so stupid with technology. It's a wonder I'm able to do what I'm doing right now. Alrighty. Sorry about that. There's an extra minute or so on the video. My little chicken is so... Oh. They're holding a determination hearing about the fate of the dogs. Once again, I don't understand any of this. Get rid of these things. So, you know, if poor Marge uh, Bowden, the victim, one of the victims, had actually just taken care of the dog in that moment, then she wouldn't even have been held responsible, correct? Uh, under, the, um, under the law in Ohio. But she's an older woman, probably wasn't even ready for it. She even states like, these dogs aren't savable, they're dangerous, and I need to get on with my life. Which is her saying, like, yeah, I live next door to this psychopath and I want to be able to start walking out in front of my house again and living because she's being attacked, you know, when she has walked out of her house. She got attacked. So, oh boy, you know, uh, this crazy bullshit. Um, he testifies, uh, Mark Adkins, he's the animal control office officer, he testifies that he does not believe the dogs can be trusted to live with Ramos or anywhere else, but two of them have already been put somewhere else. So this is just her being sneaky and evil, rehoming the dogs. I mean, she could have done something about this a long time ago. Adkins said that he would have the dogs put down. I agree with Adkins. Um, Mary Bowden, I might have said a different last name, apologize, Marge Bowden. Um, she was one of the three victims that were bit on May 13th. They are not savable. They are vicious and dangerous. This has to stop. I mean, I have to get my life back, like I said. Ramos, the woman, Ramos, who owned the dogs, admits that the dogs are not registered with the city, nor does she have liability insurance that the city requires on the breed. And this just goes right back to everything. Not only are these people irresponsible with these critters and let them out to hurt people all the time, but they don't even follow any of the simplest laws to have the stupid things. Get the tags, have insurance. I, you know that these dogs have the potential to hurt or do terrible things. Cover yourself, make sure you have insurance, not only for you, but obviously for the victims of these attacks that are undoubtedly going to happen. Uh, Adkins, the animal control officer, said the city hasn't had anywhere to put the dogs and therefore left them in Ramosa's possession. Once again, I've got plenty of places these sons of bitches can go. Straight to hell is what I say. All right. Well, as the meeting wrapped up on Monday, the law director had urged to require all five dogs to be kenneled or self-surrendered to the city. Kennel them in an incinerator. Done done how much money and time is going into these stupid friggin things i just and ramos has spoke up and said that she only has three of the dogs in her possession she had rehomed one of them and the last one belongs to her sister so it sounds like her sister is a great friggin dog owner too i don't know <sighs> she became increasingly angry as officials discussed taking the dogs and that's when she had stormed out of the hearing and uh, saying that one of the, that's what Marge Bowden had said that dogs need to put down and she'd be put down. She said it under her breath. And that's when she jumped all over her with the, oh yeah, because you were bleeding to death and you're a hypochondriac and you acted like you were dying. You asked for an ambulance. Let me tell you something. If the damn thing even scratches me, I want an ambulance. And not to mention, if you do get hurt by one of these pieces of shit, it has to be on record. You do need to go to the doctor. They spread disease and all kinds of shit. If you think I'm going to feed into your mental illness by allowing this thing to bite me on my own street that I pay to live on and then go limp and hide in my house and pour peroxide on myself so that you can keep being a fucking psycho, not happening. And besides, just got to say, this lady's just happy it's not me. Because I would have picked one of them dogs up by the hind legs and started beating the fuck out of everybody. I lost my ever-loving dog-hating mind, okay? 
<sighs> After the spat, the meeting was adjourned, and Cleveland News 19 had followed uh, Ramos outside. She was using explicit language and did not want to answer our questions before she tried to grab the 19 News microphone. This lady is, um, once again, what a member of society. What will we do without her around? Jeez. Oh, man. Whew. I'm so glad. that. Uh. <laughs> uh, so they were asking about where the dogs were. The news, the news wanted to know where the dogs were located. She stormed off, turned around, and left with one more comment about her pets. They just might be in your backyard, she said. Now she's being threatening with the stupid things. Councilman Chris Glassburn was leaving City Hall. He told them he has a big problem with the way the situation has been handled so far. I left that hearing today, and I don't know where these dogs are. They clearly are threats to resident, residents in the city. It was a kangaroo court up there. An official decision as to what will happen to the dogs has not been announced. Well, this is Ohio, and like I said, I sure wish that... Marge, or someone in the neighborhood, would have been capable of killing these things during the attack because then that just could have been it and we could have been done with it and it could be over. But no, they're being rehomed and all this other stuff. It, I can't believe the way we treat these things in comparison to the way we treat humans. And so with that, I'm going to lead into a couple stories of my own personal dog attacks in Ohio I mentioned to you guys about the Pomeranian that attacked me like six months ago. Didn't bite me or anything. This was just a minimal incident, but we'll start out with that. Long, long, long time ago, um, when I was very young and still thought that I, I was never like a dog lover, um, but I wasn't a dog hater yet, right? I was walking down an alleyway in an, in an area in and around Dayton, Ohio, and two giant German Rottweilers came around the corner. So being a person that used to train dogs and work with them and everything else, and that's something I'm definitely going to make more videos about, and I have a lot of insight about these critters. A German Rottweiler versus an American Rottweiler is a much larger, and they're far more stout. They're big in the chest, and one of their defining characteristics is they have crimpy hair on the ears versus where an American Rottweiler, they're, they're smooth, right? These big bastards came around the corner. There's two of them. They've got their pack mentality, and they meant to fuck me up. Now, this never really turned into a full-on attack. They rushed me. One of them tried to bite me in the leg, and they got my pants and uh, ripped my pants. And I started yelling, and a good thing to do when you're being attacked by these critters is to stomp back at them and show them you're scarier than them. So I did you know, and they jumped back. They realized that I'm also ready to fight. I'm not going to be easy prey. They're not just going to take me out, but they followed me two miles all the way back to my house. I mean, we passed like multiple dumpsters with trash. We passed a McDonald's that literally someone had dug through the garbage and there were like bags of like French fries and cheeseburgers and bullshit on the ground. And these ass wipes, because they're so driven by food, they go and start, like, scarfing up all the food, and I thought, oh, cool, this is my chance to, like, keep walking. And I'm also wondering why nobody is stopping to, like, offer assistance. There are so many people driving by. I'm very young. Um, why not stop and offer a young lady some help? And you got, maybe they thought the stupid shit mutts were mine. I mean, and I'm just walking around with them off leash. They finished scarfing up this goddamn food, and I thought that I was going to be, like, clear. Excuse my language on that one. I'm sorry. And... I turn around and no, oh, they're following me. They followed me all the way home. And um, I went inside. I told my roommate about it. We came outside with a baseball bat. He's got a baseball bat. And um, I had like a machete. It was like an axe. Or, it's kind of like a, a transition between the two. It's a forest weapon for like survival. And as soon as we came outside with those things and started swinging them around, 
They growled and did their whole jump at us thing, and then they run off up the street. Literally followed me to her some miles just to stalk and harass me. Hmm, you know, I just, okay, I, I could go on for an additional 15 minutes about more attacks that I have dealt with in Ohio, but I'm going to kind of spread them out into different videos and keep my videos in and around that 20 minute mark for now. Also, I've got a couple things to deal with around here. It's getting increasingly hot in the house and my AC is kicking on and off is telling me that it's getting hot and crazy and the humidity is rising. So I've got to go deal with that and check in on my son and also listen to this video and see <laughs> how disruptive everything was. Oh, it's just been a roller coaster ride. I believe I'm going to do a second video tonight during the weekends. I have a little bit of extra time, so that makes it a little bit easier for me to do stuff like that. So we'll see how things go. Um, once again, from the bottom of my dog hate and heart, I appreciate you guys. We need more subscriptions, more likes, uh, more views so that I can reach more of a crowd. And I'd be able to do, you know, better videos. And I would really love to be able to do the live chats in the future when I have enough subscribers. I would love the fact that we all get to talk together like that. It's so awesome. Such a good feeling of community. And I'm looking forward to stuff like that. But that's in the future. For now, I just want to thank you guys. Stay safe. Keep your weapons on you. As I always say, even if it's just got to be pepper spray, do something gouge these sons of bitches in the eyes start talking to people and spreading awareness people gotta wake up my next video is gonna be about babies that have been killed children under 12 months old that have been killed in the past few months not hard to find these stories at all so much love everyone stay safe humans first ban the damn dogs okay dogs are freaking garbage Love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you later on in the next video. Thanks, guys.